Good morning, everybody, and a very warm welcome to the Spring Conference of Christians in Science. It's my pleasure to welcome you. I'm Paul Yurt, Chairman of Christians in Science, and I want to say welcome to you who are here in person, people, and to part us by Zoom online. You're all very welcome indeed. Um, as is usual in these occasions, we have to start with a few housekeeping items. Um, the most important one is that if there's a fire, then you please make an exit through the exits to the rear of this room. There are three of them and gather um, at the back of the building there. And if you need to use the facilities, they are through the door on the left. If you're at home, I'm going to assume you know where your own facilities are. Okay, okay. So um, it's my pleasure also to um, help things go smoothly just to uh, ask permission for you because we are going to take some photographs during the day and um, Steph Bevan will be going around with her camera taking snaps here and there. If for any reason you wish not to be recorded on uh, photographically, um, then do please say to Steph and she will erase any evidence of your presence here. Okay. Um, could I also ask those of you who are present, if you have mobile phones, would you please switch them to silence um, or off completely? Thank you very much indeed. So it's a, a joy really to have us all together again and we're going to be um, focusing uh, our, our meeting today on the theme of science and faith and public engagement. And you might ask, uh, why have we chosen that theme? Well, I want, let me just mention two statistics to you uh, just to get us started. The first one is that the proportion of United Kingdom adults uh, who are asked this question, um, what do you think of faith? Uh, faith is one of the world's greatest evils. About 15 years ago, 42% of UK adults agreed with that statement, that faith is one of the world's greatest evils. Today, that percentage has dropped to 20%. The second statistic is that the proportion of UK adults that agree that science and religion are incompatible is 57%, so that's nearly 60%, whereas only 30% think that science and religion are compatible. So with those two statistics, I want to suggest we have some good news and some bad news. The good news from the first one, of course, is that attitudes do change, and so there is hope. The bad news, of course, is that today, we find that twice as many people consider science and faith or religion to be incompatible. So two out of every three people believe that there's a problem in having science and faith together. So that's the work that we have to do to change that. But let us be encouraged that it can be changed. So um, our conference aim really is to see how we as people who are involved in uh, the field of science and religion can affect that change that we want to see. Because we're all coming from different organizations, different backgrounds, we belong to different churches, but we're all united by our common faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. It's this what C.S. Lewis called mere Christianity that holds us together, um, and therefore we can serve in any denomination of the Christian church. And so, in principle, then, we can be effective wherever we are in the church scene. And it's our hope, really, in Christians in Science, that we can play a part in bringing people together. Uh, and today, we'll be learning from one another uh, what our particular uh, expertise and talents and gifts are in this area. And so, what I want to do to encourage uh, our interaction today is that we will... First of all, listen. Listen to what the others are saying about uh, their particular uh, areas of work and how they do it, what their expertise is, and where they feel that they can make that contribution. And the second thing we want to do is to learn from one another, uh, to learn what others are doing, um, and to learn how we could perhaps uh, work with them and help them, or they might help us. So the third L is to lend, as we lend a hand, um, can we work together by helping one another in, in our joint mission to help the church address this problem? Um, because 
we are faced with a world where two out of three people think that science and faith don't go together. And in particular, that forms a stumbling block to them coming to faith in Jesus. And we as Christians are called to remove stumbling blocks in people's way. You know, the prophet Isaiah says, um, make straight um, in the desert a highway for our God. And we want the mountains to be made low. The mountains are in the Old Testament are those difficulties that get in people's way. The mountains made low and so, and the rough places plain. So that's our task, to help people come to faith in Christ and to remove those obstacles that they perceive uh, are found in science. So we want to listen, we want to learn, and we want to lend a hand together. Um, and so I hope that as we, as we do that today, um, we will come up with new ideas. Um, we have a really an open mind as to how this might be achieved, but it's good to have an aim in mind that we want to see how we can work together um, to take advantage of new opportunities, um, learn what the challenges are that we're facing. I think in the last two years, we have learned that the challenge of the pandemic um, has also created opportunities as we've learned how to do this kind of thing, to speak to people online via Zoom, and we can reach many more people in that way. And so their uh, uh, challenge has created an opportunity for us. And so as we listen and learn from one another, let's see how we can take advantage and um, tackle those challenges. Um, perhaps we can learn how to use online activities more effect effectively in the future. So with those in ideas in mind. I don't want to prejudice anything, but I want us just to uh, be open with one another and to uh, work together and see how we can help one another. And of course, we don't do this on our own. We are Christian brothers and sisters, and we are seeking to do God's will. And so I thought we should really start today uh, in prayer. So let's pray that God will be with us today. Let's pray. Our Father God, we come together this morning to acknowledge you as our creator and our redeemer. We thank and praise you for your love for us, for your mercy and your grace. We thank you for the gift of science. Help us to be honest and to walk humbly with you in our life and in our work. We pray that you will guide our judgments and lead us today as we listen to what others say Help us also to hear what you are saying to us, that we may work together to the praise and honor of our Lord Jesus Christ. For we pray it in his name. Amen. Amen. So the only thing remaining for me to do is to have the pleasure of um, listening to Matt, who's waving to me for just a moment.